Hi, and welcome to the second tutorial on Quartz Composer. Um, so straight away I'm just going to dive right into Quartz Composer and start uh, building a composition. So once you open up Quartz, you uh, should get a template chooser, but we're going to ignore it and click File, New Blank, and immediately we're greeted with two views. Uh, one's an editor and the other one is a viewer, where anything that's in our editor gets rendered. At the moment there's nothing on there, we can see the very uh, the lowest layer which is um, just some checker boxes so what we're going to do is go to our library which can be accessed by this icon here or by simply clicking command enter and that's what I'll be doing for the tutorials and what we want is something called a clear and a clear as you can see in the description it paints an entire rendering destination so that's what we need so we double click it and the clear patches there um, to change the color of the background you have to find the inspector which is here and it gives you the properties of um, the clear patch but like the library I won't be clicking this icon I'm going to be uh, pressing 1 which is a shortcut to bring up a uh, floating inspector and the floating inspector is much uh, handier because you have more space especially because I only have a 13 inch laptop which I apologize for um, because you won't get to see too much um, so yeah if you drag this out uh, you will see that the inspector stays above it, which is really handy. Um, okay, so obviously if you click this, it'll disable it, so you can see what's below it. And you can change the color. At the moment, you can see with the diagonal uh, two-tone color box, it indicates that it's uh, transparent, but if you bring it up, it's not. And we can pick different colors. Uh, for this one, I'm going to pick white, because I just want to keep it as close as I can to my original composition. Uh, so what we want to do next is add a phone so I'm going to put a link at the bottom in the description underneath the video uh, with a link to a downloadable folder which will have all these uh, assets for you that I made already so we want to find HTC drag it on and as you can see we get a, a little image patch so at the moment there's nothing on our render because it has has not been rendered yet so we need something to render that image to the viewer so what we're going to look for is something called a billboard which handles images now there's two types, there's a sprite and a billboard uh, and I'll get into that in a second where we just bring out our billboard and as you can see there's little white circles which are um, what you like to call the ports and you need to make a connection between the ports um, for anything to work in Quartz Composer so we're just going to click and drag as you can see the different colors highlight different uh, results so this obviously is bad it's not going to work this isn't going to have any effect but if it's yellow then that's good so we're just going to deco and as you can see there's a phone on our uh, viewer and the great thing about billboards is that if we scale them down uh, both the height and the width are connected so it scales quite nicely and it's just very handy so I'm just going to set this to point, uh, 0.8168 and the reason for this is because on my screen anyway, once I drag it out a little bit, um, you can see that, you know, as you zoom up a bit, you uh, you get most of the screen, and it just suits my monitor a little bit better. But for you, you can set it to whatever you want. However, if you just want to stay uh, as close to these tutorials as possible, I'd recommend you use the same settings. The other thing I mentioned was a sprite, which is like a billboard, except it has another dimension, and also you have to set the height and width so it doesn't scale like the billboard does however um, we will be using 3D transformation which is basically a container and it's also a patch or sorry a macro patch um, so rounded corners indicate um, a regular patch which you cannot go any deeper into um, Whereas a 3D transformation, as you can see, the straight corner means it is a macro patch, so you can go into it. As you can see here, I'm inside it, and that indicates it up there. So if I want to go back up the level, I just click that button there, and I'm above again. So you can contain lots of different elements inside this 3D transformation. For example, I'm going to put a billboard in there, and I'm just going to connect um, another phone to it. So you can see that there. And I'm going to cut it by Command X. 
go in here and paste it inside, go up another level, and it's still there. Just to differentiate, I'm going to set it to a different color. Make it a bit smaller. So, seven. I'll go up. Because of the billboard has no third dimension, which is the Z axis, when we try and move our container, which is our 3D transformation, on the X axis, nothing happens. And this is the downside to the billboard. Whereas if we replace this with a sprite, we go up a level and change the X axis, then it's going to have a, an effect because it has the same properties as a 3D transformation. So just so you know, billboards won't move inside 3D transformations. So we're inside our 3D transformation and I'm basically going to have this container here because it just it's neater. Um, so what we want to do is put a wallpaper in our phone. So if we go into our assets folder and drag a wallpaper on here, uh, we're going to use a billboard and even though we are inside our 3D transformation we're not going to be moving this billboard so it's okay to use one inside a 3D transformation in this case so we're just going to hook this up and immediately we can see that it's over the phone which isn't good and also it's wider than the phone which isn't good either and you can try and make it smaller but then there's a case of it you know the white space on top so we just position it like that and we go up another level again to our top level and basically you can see these numbers here and these numbers represent the hierarchy of our elements so our patches and you can see that 3 which is the highest number and the highest number in Quartz Composer basically means that whatever patch it is is going to be at, above everything else so if we change this to 2 we can see that it's behind our phone image and that's where we want it also we can see it's coming over here on the sides so to, uh, to combat this we're going to uh, put some sprites on either side. We could use um, a render an image, which you can basically mask uh, an image. But the problems I have with the render an image is that you can't interact properly with whatever is inside it. So I've had issues with that. As you can see, it's got a straight edge, so it's a, <clears throat> a macro patch, so you can click into it. But um, yeah, we won't be using that. Uh, so a sprite is basically it's quicker really and easier so we're just going to change the width and the height so it's tall enough and position it over here I just wanted to overlap it a small bit just to make sure and we're going to drop it down a little bit more to 2 sorry to 3 finally got there sometimes a little bit difficult um, so yeah if you um, so if you think about it, we have the HTC phone just at the very top, and then right below that we have the uh, sprite, and then we have the 3D translation. Sometimes it does take a few, a bit of rejigging, because um, things, you know, all those numbers change once you change one of them. And sometimes it just uh, takes a little bit of um, fooling around with. So I'm just going to move that here. I'm going to copy this and put it over here, just so we get a little bit of a visual uh, cons consistency. Um, so I'm just going to put a minus in front of this so it's uh, on the other side. There we go. I just want to drop this below it, so we'll drop this onto four. Perfect. Um, okay. So what we're going to do next is put a floating head on 